States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yes, I propose two adjustments to the agenda. The first adjustment, I would ask that the Project Grace uh, donation and Steffi be moved up to the, the next item on the agenda so or after public comment, but prior to the workshop. And secondly, I, uh, we do not need an executive session uh, to go over the administrative contract. Acceptance of the donation from Project Grace for the Food Service Program. Second. All those in favor? And with thanks. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you so thank much. You. And thank you too for your volunteer service for the, the town and the kids. So it's great to hear. And it's great to hear what you know, the wonderful food service staff does to help our kids. Right. Oh, they it's really, a lot. Yeah. Sure do. It's really it's, it's more than just just food. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Yeah. Thank you. And thank you so much. Have a good evening. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, yeah. Steffi. So um, agenda 6.0, uh, public comment on agenda items. Um, I'd like to welcome anyone who'd like to make a comment. Seeing none, I guess we will move on. Um, agenda item 6.0, or, um, well, seven, no. I'm sorry, 7, sorry. 7.0, our workshop, uh, part two of our Board of Education self-evaluation, goal setting, and evaluation. So we're starting out with our um, our workshop today. We started the self-evaluation process. Uh, well, we started it way back in 
May or June, we were kind of looking for a, um, a model to use. And um, now we're kind of in the second, second step of this process. Um, and then we always start out, as we, as we always do, with, with our mission of, of why, as always, we start with our mission, which provides focus for our work. The fundamental purpose of Scarborough Public Schools is to provide a safe and inclusive learning environment where each and every student is empowered to be a resilient, lifelong learner who is prepared to engage as a community member of society. Um, we, also, we also like to talk about, about our vision, and this is something, our focus is our students, and um, that is why, why we do this work, so we can better serve the students in our district. Um, I hope that the goals we make and we um, develop will help this board see improvement in the way we function as a board, and uh, we're constantly working towards improvement, just like our students and teachers and staff and administration. Um, moving on to, for this work, we have some long-term objectives. Um, you know, the purpose of this work is to evaluate the whole board while providing a forum for honest evaluation. Um, we really want to understand our board as a whole and see where we need to improve to better serve the students. Uh, this part of our work is done each year as is delineated in our operating protocols. Our operating protocols kind of guide our work. And um, at this time, it, we feel it's especially crucial to look within um, within, and, and see where the board can improve you know, with the recall and, and the, the fact that we will have many new members joining the board all at once in November. So we feel like this work has even added meaning. Uh, and also feel that you know, structure is important to maintain when weathering great changes. So, so I feel that this, um, this work will, will help us with that. Uh, the process, I just want to kind of delineate how our process will be, will be working. Um, you know, we started in, in the spring identifying this self-evaluation tool. This was a this is a pilot program that um, we got the tool from Kenny Bunk, Kenny, well, it's RSU 21, which includes Kenny Bunk and Rita Bruno and Rundle, yeah. Um, so they've been using this tool for a while, and I believe it came from New York originally. I think it might have been in New York. Um, it was also used in other states. Um, so we wanted to pilot this program and, and really this year see how it, how it works for Scarborough to see if it, it works for our board to, to have this process go on. Um, we also like this tool because within the system there is time for a mid-year review, which I believe would really serve the board after November. You know, knowing that it will be a, a, a very changed board at that time, I think it's important for that board, as we talk about in um, November and December, the board will do orientation and professional development, but then in January they will do, a, as a part of this evaluation tool, they will do a mid-year review process, which I think will serve them well and that they can adjust the goals or set new goals as, as they find necessary. So this isn't a static um, process. This, this process is something that goals will be set and then goals will be looked at, it's goals are met, and then it, it keeps moving on. It, it's, it's not something that's done once and then oh, you don't have it for another year. So, so I think that, that um, part of this, this tool will be really helpful to us moving forward. And um, so it, it's hoped that setting this up will help our mini board as well as, as future boards to have that structure because as we know, the structure really helps for us to understand our goals. Um, are there any, any, anyone have any discussion on the kind of the guide for the calendar here? I just want to make sure that if there's anything that anybody wanted to add on the, on the calendar, does that look? Um, so moving on. Mic. She doesn't have a She's microphone. Just added one behind. Oh, who doesn't have one? You don't. Oh, I don't. Are, are people hearing, or is it, is it okay? Well, they probably can. Mine's not on. I'm just laughing. <laughs> what I'm saying is that if this is being recorded. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. Well, well that's, that's Yeah, I'm afraid it's going to make a loud noise. Okay. Okay. So, um, I have a question. Yeah. Um, we're piloting this, so does that mean that the next mid-year, the full board would vote to use this or not use well, it? Well, I 
think you'd want to, I would think, I mean, that would be up to the, the board ultimately, but I would think the board would want to, you know, go through the full year to really see how. But I guess my question was, does it have to be approved at some point to, that this is the format that we want to use? Um, I guess in, I guess moving forward, yeah. you, know, you know, like if you wanted to say, okay, you know, like next May or June, right. you wanted to say. That was my question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so the workshop objectives. Um, so we are going to, you know, analyze the self-evaluation results, which we, all of the board members, um, filled out the evaluation form and turned them into me, and then, and then I looked at them and analyzed them, and then we'll also um, tonight we have these lovely posters up, and so we are going to, in addition to filling out the self-evaluation form. We also wrote our own goals of what we thought would be good goals for this board to pursue. Um, but we kind of wanted we wanted to have the goals that we also we, that we created, but then we also want to look at the data to see what how that guides us. So these are the standards that are these standards around here are the standards from our self evaluation tool, and so we will take the goals that we wrote and put them and see where they fit to see. If the goals that we wrote are similar to the results from the self-evaluation, like if there's a certain standard that we might say that's a standard we might need to work on, if that's a standard we weren't as proficient in as, a, as another standard. So, um, and um, and then after we do that, then we'll look at both the self-evaluation results and the sorted goals to start forming our because the goal here is to, to make smart goals that are. <coughs> that you can um, define and evidence-based and you have guidelines <coughs> and um, so that would be that would be the um, objectives for tonight I don't think we, we won't come up with tonight with our goals completely so much looking at how each board member performs, it's, it's the whole board, it's, it's the group. So we, that, that is how we look at this, the, look at this data. Um, but we also want to have anonymity in it so that you know, it is about the whole board versus about one, one particular person. So that, so that can be difficult with such a small sample size. Um, the other issue is you know, due to recall, we have more members with less time on the board instead of a combination of different years served, which that provides different perspectives if you've been on the board a year or two years or four years or, or as Jackie is. How many years, <laughs> How many years Jack? Uh, at the present time, nine. But, but over the course. You don't want to know. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's close to 40 though, right? No, no, Off no. And no. On? no. I mean, no. maybe, but <laughs> but I haven't served all of that. No, no, no. Off, off and on, off and on. Off and on. Yeah. Um, so you know, this was our first time doing the other limitation. You know, this is our first time doing this evaluation. So um, there's always issues when it's the first time going through it. And um, I know some members might have liked to have a little more time. And 
And I want to tell you, coming in this evening uh, with two of the Rivera's brothers, uh, they said that they heard I was running for the council. That is absolutely not true. I am not running for anything. <laughs> So for our analysis, um, you know, although our sample size was small, I, I tried to look. I still tried to look at the data in a variety of ways. I averaged these scores. So you know, if someone put a one here and a two here and a three here, you know, I averaged all the scores. I then also looked at how each board member scored each substandard and took a tally of each ratings. If there were three twos and three threes or you know, two threes, I looked at that. And then I also just looked at the goals each board member had submitted and the comments from the evaluation to, to really understand the data. Were there any, anything anyone had to say on that? I think it would just be important to remind folks who are listening and watching that the rating scale was a one to four in the language here we had talked about possibly changing align to the teacher evaluation system, um, but wanted to test how the tool flows with that. Yep. So one being does not need two basic, three proficient, and four exemplary. That's, that's what Mary's talking about with the one. Yeah, the one. Um, yeah, we did talk about possibly <coughs> using that, but whether, I think that's something that we might want to discuss with the board, whether the Marzano right. uh, innovating, you know, that, if, if that works with a self-evaluation tool. And um, how is this process is different than the Marzano that we have used in the past. I mean, it looked very similar. Uh, so the difference would be that Marzano is aligned to the teacher standards, teaching professional standards. This is aligned to school board professional standards. Okay. Um, that also talks about innovating, um, where this is more about the definitions between what innovating means, which is the highest rating for the teacher's tool, um, is very different than what it would mean to be exemplary as a board. You don't necessarily get to innovate a lot as a school board member. Um, there are opportunities for it, but not necessarily on some of just like the process pieces. Yeah, thank you. And this, and I would think that this this tool is also just tool specific to each board. What a board does. Yeah. I just wanted that out there because we have yeah. used a, yeah. a version of Marzano in the past. And was it a version of Marzano that was more specific? Very similar to this. Oh, so it was more specific to. Somebody adapted it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know, but it looked well, almost the same yeah, to me. When we discuss it, I wouldn't mind hearing some of you know some of your feedback about how you know if there were things in that that you felt like were helpful that you know or vice vice versa that we could use. Listen, going forward, you folks are going to have to run this, not I. So I'm just along for the ride and make suggestions if they're helpful. This way, in particular, to, to kind of focus on tonight is more how the majority of the board scored each um, each number. So instead of an average, so if an average, if with an average, you might say if you had one four, one three, one two twos, you know, so it, it comes out differently versus looking at okay, most of the oh yes, yeah. Most of the people filling out the evaluation, you know, went towards a two or a two or a three. So that so that's a that was a way I decided to look at the results tonight, just because that seemed to give a little more information. Whereas the average sometimes would inflate it more, just because taking those those higher numbers would would pull it forward. So I kind of wanted to know where were most of the board members kind of feeling things were. So, so that's why we chose chose that one uh, instead. So so like in, in standard one, there were more twos scored than any other score, so the summative score was two. Uh, and it's not that there might have been in that, and then each standard has five or six, let's see, each standard has, I guess six, um, has six substandards, so each board member would score those substandards. So 
you know, if you took all of those substandards, then there were more twos than there were threes or ones or fours. So, um, so in looking at this data, you know, again, from a very small pool, you know, there are areas of strength and areas in which improvement is needed. Um, standards four and five were both rated proficient, and when looking at the majority of the marks, um, there was uniformity in the replies for the board for most of those substandards. I mean, there were some that were different, but for the most part, there was, there was a good amount of uniformity. Um, well, in standards one, two, and three, there was, there was more variance. Um, some members found strengths, where others felt there were areas which required improvement. Uh, and looking at the data, some of this variance you know, could be due to the amount of, of time on the board. It's, it's possible that uh, those who've been on the board longer experience different aspects than those on the board for a shorter time. However, those who are newer on the, on the board likely have an easier time thinking of only their current experience, you know, just this year on the board, whereas folks that have been there longer might be thinking about different times. So, I, so the, the upshot of that is all viewpoints are, are valid, deserve a closely look, and, and they all bring, bring wealth of knowledge to, uh, to this experience. Because, uh, so, so I just wanted to look, you know, looking at this, these self-evaluation results, like to follow with our um, data-wise evaluation process, and and I just wondered, you know, from the board, like, what do you notice? What do you wonder? Is there any? Um, what do you think of the results? Did anything seem surprising? Did it turn out as you expected? I guess that's kind of one to see if there was any anything anyone wanted to discuss. Um, Jackie? Yes. One of the things that I think was evident. Uh, was the absence of Monique Culbertson because of illness. And over the years, she has made two, three, sometimes four presentations to the board on curriculum matters and on the evaluation of students and things of that nature. We have not had that privilege this year of her expertise. I missed it. I think the staff has missed it, and perhaps even uh, the parents have missed it. But so, as far as receiving in-depth data from our curriculum director, that has been absent. Well, that's good. I think also the fact that we've had to uh, spend our time fielding questions and answering emails in turmoil has deflected from our job of, of school board business, quite frankly. So uh, I think that, that the newer members have not had a true experience of what it is to be a member of a school board. And I'm sorry for that. I truly, truly am sorry for that. Because there is so much more that we should have accomplished in this year. And we should have accomplished it sooner in a better, better timeline as we have had in the past. So I lament that a bit. And uh, that's the past. Now we have to move forward. And what I think that needs, we need to concentrate on is what do our students need and how are we going to provide that? And how are we going to replace the knowledge and the leadership uh, from Monique when she is still on medical leave? Uh, can we afford to hire an interim? I don't know that. I'm not the big budget person. But that has been a serious gap since December. And uh, I don't think we can go through another school year that way. Good. She's that, working that, her way back. And well, and, and that's very, very good. I think the fact that we're trying to please everybody has been a problem. And I think that before we try and, as individuals, try and say this or that or the other thing, that we should be having a discussion around the questions that we have received. 
and how we're going to deal with them as a school board. And I know that, that Donna before you, Mary, and you, and Hillary as chair of communications, which has not actually been appointed as a board committee, something else we have to do or should be done. Uh, I think that, that the board needs to discuss the problems that are brought before us and, and decide how they might be solved if we do in fact think they're a problem. And how does, how, exactly like as far as the data, like how do you, do you feel like the data shows anything about what you are? I think like that, that this board, that the Board of Education in the past has done more than a basic job of delivering services to the children of this community. And when you look at the evaluation here, our self-evaluation, we're not doing a very good job. I don't think basic is good enough. We don't demand basic of our students, of our staff, of our superintendent, we want excellence, and I would hope that the board can get back to what I consider board excellence. That's my analysis. Thank you. Thank you. About five more minutes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, do you have any? I can't comments? hear you. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just asking. Um, I thought, I, I mean, I agree with Jackie. I don't think that we did have a very good window into what the schools were doing, or what the kids were doing this, this, since I've been on the board. Um, and that's something, like, since I used to be a teacher that I really missed and I thought that we would have a lot more of. Um, so, I mean, I agree with you there. Uh, I do think that you know, we might not have had a typical experience, but it's still an experience and I feel like we should be learning from it. Um, like all of these standards for communication and community relations, like those are all standards that I did not feel like we did a good job on. And my goals were almost all communication-based or not even like just relations-based because, you know, I don't think having a town and a school board and all this distrust between everyone in town is healthy for the students. So if we're looking at what is best for the students in the long run, <coughs> that's a big piece of it. So that's where most of my goals were. if I start <clears throat> coughing loud. I think I'm surprised by the discrepancy in views, that it's very much, there's a lot of positive, and then there, there wasn't a lot of middle ground. It was not, we're not in alignment amongst ourselves. Yes, and I, and I, I, I can see that on some, on some measures, we were more in alignment. Like, like I said, at the standards four and five, there was, there was definitely more of an alignment you know, for the majority of the substandards, but, but I'd say for one, two, and three, Some of it, some of it was <coughs> just not having been on the board the time when you would see certain things happening. But I think, you know, that you know there's some things that happen, you know, in fall or you know what I mean, or you know. So so some of that has to do with that. But then some of it has to do with what Jackie said the, the year we've had that that there were meetings in the spring when really there wasn't board business. You know, there wasn't board business being done. It was more handling the, the turmoil and. and that is something that is like oh no but that is part of our that is part of our work but, right. then, but then when you and it's important work and you want to be able to 
handle those those issues and respond to the to the public. But when you are doing that, you aren't doing some of the other things that are part of being a good board either. You know. So I'm not saying it's not important work. It absolutely is. It absolutely is. But it, the one thing I'm wondering about is if the variance. I mean, it's hard to say is the variance because of the of the time on board and levels of experience. Is the variance because it's a new tool and we haven't had a chance to calibrate it yet and really unpack it and ensure that the way we're interpreting each performance indicator is the same. Um, there could be a lot of reasons why there's variance, and so I would just remind us to try to stay like low on the ladder of inference and be thinking about just like what does the data say um, and kind of hone in our discussion based on what it actually says before we get too far to assuming or trying to figure yeah. out well, why the data says what it says. Well, I also think that digging into data for this is I don't think it's, I don't think it has no, I'm not gonna say that data has no place here because it does have a little bit, but digging super deeply into data from four people or even from seven people, like we should just, in my opinion, it would be more useful to everyone put their goals out and then, you know, and then go through them and see where it matches up and what, you know. Well, that, what, that's the plan for the next one. Right, <laughs> yeah. I just think that's the yeah. more valuable. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we can if, there, if there's any other comments, we can. I think we're probably running low on time. One minute. Yeah. So, but is there any kind of finishing up comments on that, or do we want to move on to the next part of the activity? So I think we move on. Yep. So moving on. Um, so this is our activity for the workshop. <coughs> um, I took all of the goals that everyone had written. Everyone wrote. I think, might have been even a, a, couple, a couple extra in there. Um, and so each board member will take will take all of these written goals and they'll place each one in one of these standards of leadership. From our these are all these standards are from the self-evaluation system. So the standard one, vision, leadership, and accountability, standard two, governance and policy, standard three, communication and Start, we'll start out actually at the table. So if you want to just kind of instead of if you want to just be able to look at it at the table, that might be. Yeah, do like five minutes. If you want to just like write down like number one, you know, you can just write it down like on I the. Have, I have, I have any more space. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. You can just write it down. You can just write down the number here, and then we can. Then once you're kind of all done, then you can take it up. Inside your envelope, you have each head title and of the standard, and then you have all of the goals that were submitted. I'm gonna go grab tape while you. She's going to have a whole Oh, she's going to try to put some sort of... Okay. 
big banner or something right in the lobby of the school. Uh, Keep in mind that these were done individually. Yeah. Each of us. minutes you'll want to start sticking them up. Dylan, don't make me laugh. This is serious business. <laughs> You know what's 
missing? Do you see anything about educating our children? It's interesting because we invite them and they never come. <laughs> I haven't put that anywhere yet. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Like, are you, Jackie, are you going to be ready to tape up soon? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. We need to do that. And they're just posted on it. You shouldn't have. You, they're in your pocket. Yeah. Yeah. I know. It's wait, a little wait, wait a minute. This was what was in my packet.
probably need to wrap up. So we can always put them up a little later, Jackie, if you sure. We, we, I think we have a sense of kind of where we're headed anyway, even if we don't have all of them up. But thank you. I, my observation is, is, including myself, have not put any substantive educational goals up there. In what way? Well, you know, we've been talking about various forms of, of uh, developing the curriculum and delivering the curriculum. There's nothing there about that as a goal. There's nothing there about setting standards at the forefront. I'm criticizing myself as well. You do. Well, the curriculum is on there. It's, uh, yeah, there is a curriculum. There is something regarding the curriculum. I know there was. District-wide consistency. District -wide consistency. Yeah. The point I'm trying to make is this is a board of education, and we should be focusing more on how to deliver education to our students, I think than on communication uh, and things of that nature. And that's just a personal observation, having gone through this, and as I said, I'm as much at fault as anybody. Yeah, no, I think, I, I agree with you, Jackie, but I know for me, I think in, in thinking about this, I am thinking to November, when we have four or five new board members coming on board and thinking about what does this board need to do to prepare you know, for that so that so that the structure of the board can maintain and we can continue to do do our job well. So I know that is something that is probably on my mind but yeah. it is a big change. And I think it's hard to make specific goals. I mean we don't the teachers and the administrators the, the, they're delivering the education to our students. Like that that's we're kind of we set the basis for it. We are responsible for delivering the curriculum under the law. And that's all I'm saying. I gave you my remarks. I didn't expect to debate them. They just 
my observations. So you can take them and we can discuss them or you can set them aside. But I'm saying no, this, is, this is a board of education and I think education should be in the forefront. No, I don't, I don't disagree with you, Jackie. I was just saying I thought why, that, that was just my idea of why some of that came out that way. That's fine. But, but I don't disagree with you at all. So are we ready to wrap up? Is there anything else anybody had? Or do we do need to move on to our um, business meeting? So moving on to, um, so it seems, I know from my analysis that that emerging focus area was standard two. There were, there were some substandards in standard three as well, I think, that also stood out. Um, and I think we'd be looking at, um, especially in standard two, the substandard C, D, and E were standards that, that most people felt were an area to focus our efforts. Um, and as I said, there was also a focus area of 3B also seemed to be reflected quite a bit in the goals and comments. Um, so an evaluation of that, that data I think pointing towards standard, standard two might be, a, might be a direction. But I know there were some, there was also quite a bit in standard three that, that, um, that we worked towards. Well, and the one thing that I would just add before you talk Sure. Rather than speak in, but you said, but please speak up. Oh, okay. That's not, that's not working. 